You have a father like that, you have the, the surname, Clifford. A lot of people expect something of you as a young kid already. At nine years old maybe, they think you're going to be the next one. And I was, I had in my head, oh wait, I will show you on the pitch, I will, I will show you. I can hear ya, what you say? Lately I've been working, tell them all I need my space, yeah, yeah. Keep my head down, I've been praying. Talk to God, tell me what I gotta say, yeah, yeah. I can hear ya, what you say? Lately I've been working, tell them all I need my space, yeah, yeah. Keep my head down, I've been praying. Talk to God, tell me what I gotta say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Our house was Norderspil time. Yeah, it was against the, the, the place, so we jumped uh, over the fence and we were in the, in the playground. So that was uh, very easy. That, uh, if, if, if our mother shouted that uh, when it went dark, the food is ready, then we could jump again over. And uh, yeah, that was where we actually learned football and ourself um, made me hard, I think and uh, where I learned the basics of football, yeah. with playing with big boys, falling, uh, getting up again, uh, losing, winning. It was like on the age of maybe 14 that I maybe thought, yeah, this could be something because I was playing a few years already for, uh, for my old club, Ajax Amsterdam, uh, and it went well. And that's when I, um, when I saw that I had some qualities, some good qualities that, uh, that could be useful. And uh, yeah, that's the moment that you will think um, like, like a, big, a big boy, you know, I, will, I can be uh, that good. I will train that and I will train better my shoot, my, my dribble. And that's the moment that, uh, that it came a little. I had my father, I looked up to him. He was a great player. So eventually I wanted to be a football player also. And um, I think I worked hard for it. Um, I left a lot aside. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for that. I learned a lot from my father and still, still, um, still I'm learning. Yeah, I'm thankful for that, that I'm, I have some, so, somebody like that in my life that can, um, can, can tell good things where I can learn from. These days I still see his name popping up like the youngest scorer in Champions League, uh, this and that. So that's very nice that um, he made those records. I think mm, he was very good, but he was a striker, so he had to score, yeah. Dedication is it's everything, I think. It doesn't come falling out the air. And you have to really want it, because I know if you ask um, 100 play, uh, boys from 15, 60 years old, you want to be a big professional player, they all say yes, but the next day they go to a party or they sleep at one o'clock and I think the dedication starts at a young age. Talk with yourself like, do I want to go now with my friends and tomorrow I have a game, then I, I won't score, like th that's how you think. And the next day you sleep, at, you, you, you play the game, uh, you went early bed, you score and then it gives you a good feeling and then you know, okay, this is helping. And um, of course, sometimes you can be with your friends, but you have to know when and uh, when not. And uh, if you have a dream, you have to do everything for it. You have to leave everything for it. And that's, just, that's the main point. Yeah. I have my surname uh, on my boot. And then I have on my uh, left foot, I have the Holland flag, the mother side of me, the white side of me. <laughs> And then I have on the right foot, I have um, Suriname and Curaçao. There are two flags. Um, that's the nationality of my father and of me also. Um, that's what I wear on the right side. And uh, on the left, I also wear the, the flag of Amsterdam because that's where I come from and that's where I come from. 